Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Stranger Things Season 4, Episode 4. Now, in the last episode, a brief summary. <sighs> okay, so Elle got arrested, but she didn't... Well, yeah, she did get arrested, but Dr. Owens came through and saved her ass and gave her a proposition like, Hey, look, you want to save the world or what, you know? And to her, she feels like an outcast among society. She doesn't feel like she can fit in with regular people because she's not a regular person. You know, she has these outbursts of anger and violence, which, well, again, Angela was pretty fucking justified, but it just gave her memories of what she did back in, you know, the flashback of season four, episode one, and it makes her feel like she doesn't fit in and she really shouldn't be here, you know? And so she took his deal, you know, because she's probably better off doing things like this than just trying to live a normal life. So happy to see it love to see it joyce and murray are on their way to alaska right now they're on the plane right now oh no they landed in the episode actually so they're gonna go meet jagan's pilot give him the money and then uh, he's gonna go pick up hopper and then hopefully this goes smooth let's hope this goes pretty pretty smooth uh okay then lucas made a big move you know he kind of redirected you know fuck what was his name? fuck what was his name chris I want to say his name's Chris. No, the dude who is dating Chrissy, whatever, that jock, that douchebag, Tom Cruise, okay? Tom Cruise. I'm going to call him Tom Cruise, okay? Um, so he was like, hey, I know where Eddie is. He's over here. You know, well, okay, Dustin did tell him, like, the exact location where Eddie really is. You know, because, like, he radioed in Dustin, and Dustin's like, Lucas, oh my god, where have you been? And Lucas was like, yeah, did you know Eddie killed Chrissy? And Dustin's like, no, we di no, he didn't. And then Lucas is like, what do you mean? And then Dustin's like... Eddie's over here and gave him like the little address right and then Lucas got caught by all the other jocks right oh and Patrick pa uh, the mind flare uh, not the mind flare Vecna Vecna got Patrick okay that's that's his next victim well we got he got another victim later in the episode but so Patrick's gonna be tweaking anytime you know he's probably gonna start tweaking in front of all the other basketball players and they're gonna probably see oh okay maybe Eddie didn't murder Chrissy but anyway Lucas was like, oh, guys, he was like, uh, I know where Eddie is. He's over here. And I'm pretty sure he took him somewhere else. And then he ran out the back door. I'm pretty sure he's just going to leave him there. Whatever, take the car, fuck him, dip, leave him there. So big move by Lucas. I knew Lucas would come through for his day ones, you know, because they were looking for Dustin, too. Like when they went to Eddie's friends who were in his band, they were like, oh, he's with like Dustin Henderson was looking for him. So so Lucas came through for the day ones. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything. So anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on... Wait, oh my god. No, uh, Vecna came for Max, actually, in the very end of the episode. Vecna came for Max. I swear to god, bro, if Max fucking dies, I'm gonna fucking... I can't do anything with my broken ass leg, but... I'm gonna be very hurt on the inside, so... Yeah, okay, we'll see where that goes, so... But anyways... I'm a, now I'm really gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full three reaction, that'll be available on Patreon as well. Early access to the next two episodes of Stranger Things will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. Right now, for her safety is best you don't know. This is insane. This is insane. Yeah, these are uh, Owens people t telling them what the hell's going on, you know, because they showed up at the end. Months. Until then. Months. We don't have months, bitch. You do not speak to anyone about this. No. No way. I know this is difficult to understand. My, yeah, you can't tell anyone. This is impossible. There are factions. Okay, facts. Who are working directly against Eleven. Who are, in mm -hmm. fact, searching for her as we speak. Yeah. This, it will jeopardize Eleven. And if Eleven is jeopardized, so are your friends. It's your family. So what, we're just supposed to trust that you're the good guys? Bro, we... Whoever you are? We're friends of Owens. Yes. Yeah, sh <laughs> shut the fuck up, Mike. Gosh. Dear Mike, I have become a superhero again from L. Aw. She's following her dreams. A grandfather clock. Mm hmm. Oh my god. Fuck that. I hate that clock, dude. It was like she was in a trance or something. Exactly what Eddie said happened to Chrissy. That's not even the bad part. Yeah, it, the bad part is I heard someone talking to me. Oh. Thought she was gonna say that. Yeah, the symptoms have the symptoms in common. Then the nightmares, trouble sleeping. He'd wake up in a cold sweat, and then they started seeing things from their past. 
Yep. And these visions, they just, they kept on getting worse. And mm. That was terrifying. Beckner's curse. I've been having them for five days. Five. They both died less than 24 hours after their first vision. And I just saw that goddamn clock, so. Yeah. Looks like I'm gonna die tomorrow. No, 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 you're not. No, you're not. What the? F Stay here. Max, you're a main character. We're gonna figure this out, okay? This isn't Game of Thrones. If this was Game of Thrones, oh, I would say she's chalk. She's gone. But it's Stranger Things. Uh -huh. Oh, it's Lucas. Yes. Yeah, you kind of scared the fuck out of all of us, but hey, we're happy to see you. Spiking for eight miles. Oh, damn. Biking for eight miles. I've been with Jason, Patrick, and Andy, and they've gone like totally off Jason, the Jason, that's his fucking name. For Eddie, and they think you know where he is. Yep. So they're looking for you. But we've got bigger problems than Jason right now. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah. Lucas. Uh, he doesn't know, but he knows something's wrong with Max. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do something really quick. <sighs> That's better. Uh, chapter four, dear Billy. Oh, if Max thinks that she's probably gonna die tomorrow, is she gonna try and make amends with with Billy Negative. like going to his grave? Because I saw a thumbnail is? like on uh, uh, Netflix of her standing in front of, like, for sitting in front of a grave, so. He's taking a step down from Max. That'd be kind of nice. Jason, get the fuck out of here. You're the little sister who plays Dungeons and Dragons, huh? What's it to you? Yeah, Erica, bitch him out. Know him? I've bled with him. Chances are he's home. I've been covering for his ass for two days now. Each day of covering costs 10 bucks with a deep Jesus. It's a daily percentage rate of 7.9. Oh my gosh. This and he's buying me a goddamn Nintendo with Duck Hunt. Fuck yeah, Erica. Hell yeah. Get your interest. Get your money. I love Erica. She's about her money, dude. Uh, do you guys understand any of this? No. Pretty straightforward. Oh, it's straightforward. Right. Except for this old Victor Creel dude Nancy found. He's the only mm -hmm. known survivor. If anyone knows how to beat this curse, it's him. Yeah, we gotta go find him. Can Vecna have existed back in the 50s? It doesn't make sense. As far as we know, yeah. Eleven didn't create the upside down. She just opened it. Yeah. It Probably been around for thousands of years. Oh, oh yeah. How did Vecna get through? Oh, yeah. And how's he getting through now? And why? Yeah, who opened it again? <laughs> and someone opened it back in the 50s then too? Any idea what she's writing? A letter to Billy. You know, in the thumbnail that I saw on Netflix, it looks like she's reading something in front of a grave, so. Please charm him and convince him to let us talk to Victor. And then maybe. Wait, 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 wait a second. Uh. Where's mine? Oh, oh, sweetheart. Nancy, you're out of your mind if you think I'm babysitting again. Okay. Uh, I know, but why does it always have to be me? Oh it's my like... god, you have a Tom Cruise poster. Yep. Oh my god, Robin. I mean, need. Ouch. No, I just. Look, I, I did a Robin. All right, Robin. Yeah, just feel free to t go through whatever you want. Move into my move into my room if you want. Sure. Academic <laughs> scholar. She's giving you an academic scholar vibe. Yeah. No, but. I feel like Robin just has ADHD. <laughs> there are certain things one can be late to in life. A dentist appointment. A one-year-old's birthday party. This is not something we can be late to. For that, I think you very much need to be on time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do have subtitles on, by the way, so like I am reading what they're gonna say before they say it, too. Of course not. She saves your life because of friendship. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jagan knows, bro. He knows. If your odds of success, 50 to 1. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll take him. You don't even seem nervous in medical and the past. You have a cool shot. No, Jim Jim doesn't care if he dies, bro. He doesn't care at all. He's basically already dead. He's probably expecting this to not even work out. Just so at least he's not disappointed when it doesn't. If it doesn't. John. Oh nosy friend again. Oh no. It's not my face. 
Of course not. Dude, just give it to me like in the ribs. Like that wouldn't be too bad. Oh, his ankle's broke. Oh, our nosy friend knows. He's sus. Aww. <sighs> Watch, they're just gonna go to Hawkins. Cause like he's gonna miss Nancy. Elle's gonna be like, I mean, uh, Mike's gonna be like, no, we gotta go save our friends. And they're just gonna go to Hawkins, you know, without telling them or anything. They're just gonna go. If this goes on for a month or months and, and people can't get a hold of us, they're gonna totally freak out. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Bro, why would you throw that away? Oh my God, Mike. I would keep that. Are you kidding me? That could be the last thing you ever get from her. We, we had a bad fight. We never fight. I mean, felt more adult. Like it, it just felt more real. Yeah, because she's done with your bullshit. Like, like it was a fight that you can't come back from. Nah, you can come back from. Bro, she sent you that letter. If she didn't give a fuck about you, she would not have sent you that letter. She's already moved on. She would not have sent you that letter, bro. Yeah, and then Mike's gonna feel like she needs him. She needs him. He needs to be there for her. So there, that's even more reason for them to no, go. But he wasn't able to protect me. That was, was you it? guys who saved me. That was you guys. Yeah, it's true, but... Looks like it's gonna be up to us again. Like, re realistically, what could he have done? No, you guys are gonna fucking die this time. Which is why we can't stay. Yeah, yeah. Of a car or money. Then we'll hail ourselves a ride. A cheap one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, he's gonna get us out of here. Here at Surfer Boy, except for our pineapple, which comes from a can. But I still highly recommend slapping some juicy pineapple on your pot. I don't. It's gnarly, you say. Well, I say try before you deny. <laughs> Hello? Too long of a line. Too long of a line to open up with. I feel like, I feel like it's not even the line they want you to say. He just kind of made half that up. You can look at me now. Thank you. Sorry. No sorry. Sorry. <laughs> queen shit. Queen energy, bro. For you. And them. Yep. Yeah. What? For when you die? It's it's a letter to, to them for when you die. Hey, what are you doing? No, don't. That's not for now. Don't open it now. Don't. Okay. Yeah. Open it after I'm dead. It's um. It's a fail safe. Yeah. Yeah. If things if they if they don't work out. Yeah. It's all gonna work out because mm -hmm. people have been telling me that my entire life, and it's almost never true. Yeah. I mean, of course, this asshole curses me. Yeah. It's just her luck. Day of my life in the armpit that is Mike Wheeler's basement. <laughs> I like how they're still at Mike's apart, uh, at Mike's basement, even though he's not even here anymore. It's like in that '70s show when they all just kicked in Eric's basement when he wasn't even there. Better reach Penhurst. No! 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 Uh, Robin. But there is a protocol to visiting a patient like Victor. Mm -hmm. You have to put in a request, mm -hmm. and then you have to undergo a screening process. At which point, the board will make a decision. I'm denied. Our thesis is due next month. And you're out of time. Damn. Tough. Oh, whose fault is that? I do apologize. Don't apologize, Ruth. <gasps> Screw that. I don't know. And then we reapplied and were denied again. Yeah, Robin, go off. Well, Rose, maybe you'd like to go outside and get some air. Maybe I should. Mm -hmm. In this field, they just don't. We don't look mm -hmm. the part or sobbing right there on the spot, full on hyperventilating, and all the other campers, they couldn't sleep for weeks. And I couldn't sleep either, but not. Robin's gonna go off right here, and it's gonna seem like this guy is moved by her story and approve him, but he's just gonna give him a hard, fat no. To be you, mm -hmm. I want it to be you. So forgive me. <laughs> this ridiculous outfit. If mm -hmm. I might get the chance to speak to the man that ignited my passion and learn a little bit mm. more about how we don't have the official paperwork, but don't tell me that crybaby. This music's picking up. He's just gonna say no. He's just gonna say fuck no. <laughs> Oh, did it work? Oh, okay, shit, it worked. All right, bet. Good shit, Robin. I thought they were just building that up so hard to just be like, no. 
All right, all right. Now we pray that Jagan and his pilot don't fuck him over. And I'm now a black belt in karate. You were a black belt last time. What do you mean? Was he not? He said that in season two. Or no, he said that in season three. Too bad karate doesn't actually work. It's actually a... Uh, uh, it's a private matter. Is Yuri here? I'm it's sure. He's Yuri. I don't know how to tell you this, but... You are day late. Fuck. No, no. Yuri was on site seeing trip to see polar bear. Nah, that's bullshit. And then, bears got into plane. This is Cap, dude. No. Out of cockpit and kill Yuri. No, no this is Cap. This is Yuri and he's fucking with them. With the bear claws. <laughs> yeah, see? Hey, I'm Yuri. I'm yeah. Yuri. Yeah. No, oh, great fucking joke. Yuri, 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 Yuri. Every time. Bro, is this full on fucking coke? Oh yeah, he's on coke, bro. I hope you do not mind if I count. You two seem no, not at all. Trustworthy people, but so did my brother. Before he stole my wife. Oh, that's tough. Please have some coffee. Still hot. Yeah, I'd probably leave him too if I was his wife. Hear about that? No, uh, broken cannot work. He has a plan. <gasps> oh. Ah, uh, uh, he had to break both his fucking ankles in the sky. Rookie. He's gonna all whip him. Oh. Come on, Jim. I feel like everyone would hear this outside. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right, Jim, now what? Now what do you do now? Oh, oh fucking really murdered that guy. I'll oh, blow this shit up. Oh, that probably hurts so bad that landed on his feet like that. Oh shit. Oh. Waxed. Dude, I'm learning so much Russian just from watching this season. Maybe I'll actually be able to speak it after the season. Hell yeah. A hundred to one. Hundred to one. Son of a bitch. Yep. Motherfucker actually did it. That thing's got batteries in it, right? Yeah. I'm not even answering that question. Learned that from last season. You need eight batteries, yes, Dustin. Yes, it has batteries. Yeah, I got it. All right, good. You got eight backups just in case? Yep, yep, leaving notes for her mom. Yep. Uh, do you tell her? What, do you talk to her one more time while you still can? Or? Uh, oh, okay, okay, good, good, good. For you and, and Granny and Uncle Jack. Mm hmm And Dad. If you can find him. Letters, oh. I... What if something happens to me? Yeah. Max, baby, nothing is going to happen. Fuck, it's not like she could just tell her mom. You know? No, you're right, I'm sure. I'll, I'll, I'll be fine being silly. Mm. Rock, so sweetie. Aww. Okay. Max, nothing's gonna happen to you. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, okay? No, is that all we is for mom? Nothing you can <gasps> deserve. I totally thought something was gonna happen in this moment. Her mom is fucking god damn it. Mom, let go. Oh. Some letters are going to make things right. Bro. Your time is almost at an end. It's terrifying. All right. Stay strong, Max. Stay strong. Yeah, Max is definitely mentally stronger than I am. 100%. They could. Let the vast majority choose to be here. Yeah, because we're all insane. We found that music has a particularly calming effect on the broken mind. Yeah. But there are those who are beyond the cure. Mm -hmm. Like Victor. Do you think it might be 
possible for us to speak to Victor alone? No. Then we could really rub it in Professor Bradley's face and we could... <laughs> Believe I know, Professor Bradley? But mm. Bradley, she meant to say Bradley. But didn't I say Bradley? <laughs> no, don't fumble right here, right now. Come on. Alone? <laughs> oh, no. They're gonna, they fumbled. Yes. Oh, okay. You've caught me in a rebellious mood. <laughs> I, I, this guy's kind of sus, dude. This guy's kind of sus. Could be Vecna in disguise. I don't know. Probably not, but like... I, there's some twist that's gonna happen with him. Damn, that's Cardigan. Victor? Ah. Not reporters. Nancy, five feet away. <laughs> ah, shouldn't give a fuck. She doesn't care. Oh yeah, we're here because we believe you. We need your help. Whatever killed your family. We know. <laughs> oh, his eyes. Oh my. Well, now we got his attention. Oh shit. Thanks, by the way. For what? For knocking some sense into me. I mean, I was being a total self-pitying idiot. Yeah. I, I was being a total jerk to Al. I, I deserved it. No, 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 you weren't. Well, not at all. No, you didn't deserve anything. Yeah. They're great. They're great. It's just, it's Hawkins. It's not the same without you. Yeah. And I feel like maybe I was worrying too much about L, and I don't know. Maybe I feel like I lost you or something. Aw. I think it'll be easier for we're a team. Friends. Hell yeah. Best friend. Hell yeah. Cool. 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 So I lo oh, Will is crying. That meant so much to Will, dude. That meant so much to him. I think it looked like his eyes are starting to water a bit. Oh, shit. I, th I think I remember what that was. Something he made for for Mike. And Mike just totally dismissed him. Something, something like that. When they saw him at the airport. Hello there. Oh, f oh! No! What the hell is How did they find us? Oh, because they ordered the pizza? Oh, shit. Oh, we got swatted, bro. We got swatted. Oh, we got <laughs> he's dead. Oh, he's putting in work, though. Get down! Bro, this scene's fucking intense. Oh, my God, bro. This fool's taking on everyone. Like, this GTA. Oh, he got shot. Oh my god. Oh, what's this guy? What's he gonna think when he sees all this? Party not invite me, man. That's not cool. No. So not cool. He's gonna be the getaway. Oh, shit. We have to get away. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, he's not dead. Okay. Okay. All right. Be oh my god. Why is that guy? Bro, go! Oh, yeah. go! Holy shit. God. Damn, that scene was intense. That was made really well, too. Holy damn. Love the one-shot style from that scene, too. Made it feel super real, like I was there. He's not dead, but still, I should check. Mm. I don't like him. Mm, me neither. Bro's just not mentally there. I don't trust him to fly a plane at all. Oh, his feet must be freezing in that snow. Oh, that's convenient to find that key under the rock. Spare key, I guess. Mmm, found food. Ah, oh, probably feels so good to eat, like, something that's not just a bunch of fucking slosh from the boot camp. Oh, right, he's just gonna post up right here. Oh, <laughs> He looks so adorable like that. Hello. Enzo. Hmm. Why are you calling me here? Are you mad? And I'm very sorry. I just felt that you should know some that there has been a slight change in plans. What has happened? Oh no, 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 no. They found Hopper. I just got off the phone. But they're a warden. A very productive call. Alright, Eerie switched up on us. Turns out state prison is worth quite a bit of money. Alright. Oh, well, fuck us. So Eerie thinks why not keep the foil? Well, bro, he's not- how is he gonna keep, uh, Joyce- Joyce's money if they, he doesn't give him Hopper? 
You need no other words even more. Just an escape prisoner. Big love of zip. Corrupt the guards. No, come on. What have you done? Oh no. Oh fuck Yuri. America. Americans. God. Wanted by the KG. God damn it, Yuri. Oh, he drugged them. Yeah, Murray's already out. Oh shit, this didn't go how I thought it would at all. Bro, everyone got... Everyone got fucked in this situation. Alright. I kind of had a bad feeling it wasn't going to go smoothly like this, you know? Like, I don't trust Yuri at all. Like, I didn't... This fool just looks like he's off coke. We'll be reunited with your American boyfriend very soon. Yeah, in a prison. All right, shit. Cemetery, yep. I know something happened back there with your mother. I mean, he's trying, at least. Was it Vecna? Yeah. He has no idea. I told you. I'm fine. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I don't need a letter. I don't want a letter. Just talk to me. Mm -hmm. To your friends. We're well, right here. I feel like it's hard for Max, you know? She's not used to it at all. I'm here. Oh, but I love how Lucas is at least trying his best. Ah, yeah, she has to do this. this Amazing. It looks like a fairy. Wait, that's Vecna's house, though. That, okay, that's where Vecna is in the Upside Down. I mean, we already knew it was Victor's so. home. Oh, oh. Must have a home. And you moved into that home. Oh, no, you got me fucked up right now. You got me so fucked up. Ah. Oh, fuck me. Oh, my God. That just gave me chills. Oh, my God. Look, Virginia first. Mm. Out to save them. Come on. Damn, you can't even get the. You can't even get. You can't even leave the house. A nightmare for our worse. Yeah. Yep. Oh no, his kids are damn. Oh, at least he didn't have to see his kids do, go through that. Bro, imagine your kids levitating, all their bones just break. Oh, that'd be so. Ah. Yeah, so he's been locked up ever since. To join him. Ah. Uh, oh, oh, so that's how it's happened to his eyes. He followed. Who was she? She. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Damn, I feel so bad for Victor, dude. Like, I you hope he would be. I just yeah. While we wait for the police, bro, you are the police. <sighs> William Hargrove. Damn, R.I.P. Billy. Um, I feel like they're gonna come to the conclusion that we got we gotta go to the house to confront it ourselves, and it's like, yeah, I'm good. That we could have become friends. Maybe we could try again. I stood there, and I watched. Well, there's nothing you can do, Max. Like, really. I think that maybe a part of me died that day, too. Oh. It's the trauma. But I had to tell you before it's too late. <laughs> if you can even hear this. Bro, Vecna's gonna do some shit to fuck this up right now. I, could, I can already tell. I'm sorry. Uh, like, this is a great moment with Max, and Vecna's just gonna come do some bullshit. But they already did that with her mom, so maybe not here. Nope, never mind, Vecna's here. Yes. Uh, that sounds like Billy saying Max right there. Oh yeah, watch, they're gonna see her, and then... Yes, yeah, they're gonna go after her. Max. <gasps> You know, I think there's a part of you buried somewhere deep that wanted me to die that day. Mm, maybe, maybe a little bit, a little bit. It's not true. That's why you stood there, isn't it, Max? Bro, there, what could she have done? Re realistically, what could she have done? Tell me, I would love to hear. In that moment, what could she have possibly have done? Into death. Uh. That. <laughs> oh my fucking god. It is time. No, no, bitch. No, it's not. It is not fucking time. To join me. 
bitch. No, it's not. We are not killing Max right here. Yeah, run away. Uh, I mean, Fred tried to run away. Dude, what's going on with Patrick? I know you, you cursed him too. Let's go to Pat. Let's jump over to Patrick. Come on, come on. We can come back to Max later. <laughs> Swear to God, those batteries better better be charged. In the house, but he made specific mention of music. He said, mm. Yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah. And then when we asked him, there's parts of the brain that words can't. Yep. So maybe that's the key a lifeline. A lifeline back to reality. It's worth a shot. Mm. All right, shit. Well, that's what we got to do the Max thing because he's in it right now. But they know this and fucking Steven Ron uh Steven them don't. Oh, oh, oh. Run his ass over, run his ass over. Oh. You really are a weird runner. Robin, where the hell are you? Oh, tell him right now, tell him right now. Please, please tell me you guys have this figured out. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yep, they told him, they told him. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my god. Is this the house? So much to explain right now. Watch her favorite song! What are you doing in here, man? Yeah, he's like, why are you in my home? Does that mean they're actually close to the home in real life? In the real world? Oh, is that Chrissy? And it's Fred. Would you like to join them? No, not really. I'd rather not. <laughs> no. Now. Hey, this is that song they played in episode one. I was like, oh, this song goes fucking hard. Yep, the portal. Oh, it's working. But lies. This is Burn Up the Hill by Kate Bush. I fucking downloaded this song. This song is this song is lit. Not even gonna lie, I've been slapping this the last couple of days, ever since I saw episode one. Bro, this goes hard. Ah, the, oh yeah. All the memories. Come on, Max. Oh, oh, fuck, get waxed, get waxed. Book it, Max, a oh, book it. Deal with Come on, Max. Ah, and the episode's gonna end right here. Oh, no, 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 oh, fuck yeah. Oh, she would've broke her legs right there. Holy shit, but she made it out. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah, that, was a, that was a close one. Holy shit. That was, that was a close one, guys. Bro, I'm fucking sweating. I'm sweating in this. Oh, my God. Holy shit, okay. Dude, oh my god. Okay, in this in this rap right now, my leg is so damn sweaty in this rap. It is absolutely disgusting. Alright, but that was episode four. Shit. Alright, what a damn episode, dude. So much happened in this episode. Oh my god. Um, where do I even start, dude? Okay. Okay, well, I thought Hopper made it out, but nope, he got caught a little bit after. I mean, he's he's in Russia, so it's like, yeah kind of kind of tough you know you know what I, you know what i just thought of actually if they're in alaska if joyce okay i yuri totally he just fucked them over right but if he were to fulfill the deal i just kind of i just thought about this like wait let me let me just show you this okay so he's on they're in alaska all the way up here right now would they just go this way to get the russia hella fast <laughs> or would they would he have gone the other fucking way across the damn world Cause like, look at this. Look, this is Alaska right here, right? And then that's Russia. Look how close these are together. Like, look at that. You could literally just take a boat from Russia to Alaska. Okay, well anyway, that's totally irrelevant, but anyway. Um, oh well, yeah, Yuri, he fucked them over. He, he fucked over Hopper. He fucked over 
Jagan, he fucked over Joyce and Murray, so he's just, they, the Russians have them all, basically, now, he got cashed out, he got cashed out a lot, you know, he, he took the 40k from Joyce and Murray, and whatever the Russian government, the KGB is gonna pay him for turning in Hopper, Joyce, Murray, and a corrupt guard, so... He came up of he came up in this episode. He came up on a fat nub, but all right. Uh, I'm kind of actually I'm kind of happy that happened because I feel like this would have been too easy, you know, if they just got Hopper and got him back to California or whatever. That would have been too easy, honestly. I, I kind of like this. I kind of like how things didn't go perfect. You know, it makes it more interesting and suspenseful. Okay, well then Nancy and Robin they went to go see Victor Creel, and then Robin she's a very observant person. She noticed the tendencies and. A lot of things the warden was saying throughout the prison you know and she pieced it all together based on what victor told him and then her observations throughout the prison she pieced it together the music helps the music fight against vecna right and thank god they figured that out if they didn't figure that out max would have been dead max would have died so and thank god they told they found out they found it out when they did and they told them and they told dustin when they did you know like if they were literally a minute too late on that they would have died she would have died so well shit good thing we know that now honestly i think this is probably my favorite episode of the entire series so far like oh yeah and then the fucking firefight and will in will's house like what the that was so unexpected how did they find us who doxed us you know how do they find us okay but we barely made it out of there one agent died and then the other one got wounded do that do the ood uh. The agent that just got wounded, oh my god, motherfucker put in work, like this is GTA. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Jonathan's boy came through, I mean, he almost got us killed right there, he didn't drive, he, you know, he's asking too many questions, like, bro, boy, just drive. You know, like, bro, just drive. And one thing I think this season's doing a really damn good job at, is making the scene's a lot more intense, like the firefight in the middle of the episode, and when Vecna's on screen, it's just terrifying, dude, like, okay, you may not, okay, a lot of you may not think this is, like, scary, scary, but to me, this is pretty damn terrifying, like, this, this has me on, this has me on edge, kinda, I'm just like, holy shit, like, I don't know what's gonna happen, the suspense for me is real, and... They're not trying too hard to make it super scary. Like, I feel like they could go way harder and just how, like, creepy and scary they can make it. But they're not going as hard as they can with that because, you know, you don't want to overdo it too hard. But, like, when Victor Creel was talking about, like, what happened to him and his family in the house, it was like, holy shit, this is, this is pretty damn scary right now. I was like, holy shit, this is, this is making me pretty damn nervous. But at the same time, I was like, okay, well, Stranger Things, it's not going to jump scare the shit out of me. You know, they're not, gonna, they're not going for that. So I was like a little bit relieved. So I wasn't like too on edge because of that. But if this was like an actual horror movie, oh my God, it would, you know, I would die. I would die trying to get through this. But yeah, I like how, I like the balance they have in it. It's not like overly scary to where... I'm like, holy shit, to where I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to watch that. I think I think the show does a really good job of capturing the intensity without overdoing. It's just enough to where it has a lot of tension, but it still draw, it still pulls me back in. It still makes me want to come back to it, if that makes sense. But yeah, that was Stranger Things season four, four episode four. Comment down below. Just thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.